hey guys uh, how are you doing this is sam here and uh, welcome to another video on uh, sam's aws learning series today's session it's on ec2 it, this is a lab session and uh, we are going to launch a uh, linux uh, vm and uh, windows vm so i want you to log into your uh, aws console and navigate to ec2 dashboard and uh, where exactly you can spot it, it it's under a uh, compute section so click on ec2 and this is the ec2 dashboard or ec2 management console uh, which you will be you know uh, uh, landing on and you will be seeing all uh, everything is uh, zero but uh, for me it's um, i've got a volume i've got a you know key pair because i've been you know playing around with that you might be seeing zero uh, except for a security group you will be seeing a security group created uh, and uh, this might be uh, uh, a default one uh, this is the default uh, VPC which you will be seeing and uh, this is my custom VPC which I have created uh, part of another lab. So you guys will be you know, seeing just uh, the default one. And how do we launch uh, an instance? It's pretty simple. Um, you can see the button right over here, uh, launch instance. I want you to you know, click on that. And the very first page, uh, you will be asked to choose the Amazon machine image AMI. So we might have you know, covered this briefly, but uh, AMI, that's a template which contains the software configurations the things like you know operating system application server and applications required to launch your instance so amazon provides uh, you know standard uh, uh, amis you have a bunch of them here and uh, on on the quick start section you have my emis wherein you can now go ahead and you know create your own uh, amazon machine images so this will be treated as a template and using this template you get to launch uh, your own you know uh, EC2 instances, n number of uh, EC2 instances you can launch, and there is this AWS Marketplace link, wherein uh, you know customized uh, AMIs are avail available, product offerings, and then there is a uh, community AMIs which is contributed uh, by all other um, AWS users. So you have that option as well. But uh, for now, I'm going to stick with our uh, uh, quick start items, and there is an important thing over here, uh, free tier. So I'll click on this and it will show me all the you know free um, AMIs, free tire uh, AMIs. I don't need to you know pay a single penny uh, if I'm going to use these uh, AMIs. So let me you know, uh, go ahead and uh, choose um, uh, Amazon Linux AMI, uh, the very first one. It is SSD volume type, it is using that and uh, it comes uh, with this EBS backed uh, AWS supported image. It includes AWS command line tools, Python, Ruby, Perl, uh, Java and repositories are uh, uh, docker php mysql postgres sql and other packages are already installed on this so i'm gonna you know quickly select this and there is this uh, uh, page with, wherein you'll have to choose the instance type so if you remember uh, uh, every ec2 instance it is classified as uh, 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 you know what you call uh, different types and uh, you will have to you know select your type uh, you have this uh, t2 or uh, t2 general purpose items you have m4 uh, general purpose you have uh, c4 which is a uh, compute optimized you have r for memory optimized and you have x for uh, memory op optimized d for storage optimized i class for uh, storage optimized and so on so you get to you know choose uh, the uh, you know the suitable one per your requirement but i'm going to stick with the uh, general purpose free tire which is t2 micro I'm gonna click on next and uh, here comes the configuration part I'll have to you know define how many instances I want to launch I'm gonna stick with one and uh, if you need a uh, request uh, uh, I mean if you need the spot instances I mean uh, spot EC2 instance you are you're supposed to click on that and you'll have to define the maximum price you will have to you know uh, define things like um, when exactly you are you know planning to start and when exactly you are you know uh, planning to retire if it matches the price, I mean uh, the bidding price, it's gonna you know allocate a uh, spot instance to you. So I'm gonna you know stick with um, on demand, and uh, this is what I'll have to select. Uh, coming to network, I'll have to select uh, uh, my uh, VPC. I'm gonna stick with uh, uh, my default VPC. We'll we'll talk about a VPC in an upcoming session. Uh, it's a huge topic as well. So for now, I'm gonna stick with the default one. Subnet, I'm gonna you know say no preference and auto assign public ip uh, amazon assigns this uh, public ip uh, um, as well i mean um, it, it auto assigns public ip but i'm gonna stick with uh, the default option use subnet setting uh, and i am role i'm not gonna do anything now 
uh, i know this is pending from uh, uh, iasa iam lab but uh, we will we'll, you know uh, talk about it and uh, couple of uh, i mean after a couple of videos i'll i'll tell you how to create this iam role and uh, um, what to do with that and all and then there is this uh, shutdown behavior by default uh, this is selected as stop i'm going to you know leave it as such what it does is uh, whenever you click on you know uh, shutdown on the ec2 console uh, the underlying instance underlying ec2 instance will be stopped if you are selecting terminate uh, this instance will you know will be terminated once you select a uh, shutdown and enable termination protection uh, so if you click on this uh, it, it puts a lock you cannot uh, terminate this instance and uh, this will be uh, useful when um, uh, when you want to you know have some sort of protection from the accidental uh, termination and monitoring uh, we can have that a uh, cloud watch enabled on this but it's it's going to you know cost me additional charges it's clearly you know mentioned over here i'm going to leave it as such and tenancy tenancy there is this you know dedicated instance and a dedicated host if you have uh, a requirement to you know host a single uh, application on uh, dedicated host you can you can do it but i'm going to you know go with a shared where i'll uh, install you know so many applications and uh, this is this, uh, this this is not that important uh, for this session but uh, i'm going to you know leave it as default this idea and there is this advanced details section if i click on that something will come up and uh, you can specify the configuration data something like you know the boot script you can define it so what is a boot script uh, you know the, the moment that your uh, instance launches uh, you get to you know run some uh, specific commands something like you know if you want to install or if you want to perform some updation uh, uh, operation yeah update operation you can do it you can uh, write it in uh, uh, script format here so i'm going to leave it uh, blank this time and i'm going to click on next and uh, the fourth page it says uh, add storage and this is the place where i have the option to you know choose uh, uh, or modify the size of my root volume and even i can add uh, extra volume you might be familiar with the term root volume uh, that's the place where uh, your os is installed and uh, there is this option delete on termination what it does is uh, the moment you terminate your ec2 instance it, it's going to you know uh, delete this uh, root volume and uh, i want you to remember that uh, this is selected by default it might uh, come in your uh, exam so delete uh, uh, the ebs root volume on uh, termination of ec2 instance it is selected by default and the root volume it's not uh, encrypted by default that's another thing which i want you to remember if you want to you know encrypt your root volume where your os is installed you will have to use some third party uh, tool after uh, the ec2 instance is launched you have the option or a freedom to you know add a uh, few more volumes you can uh, go on and add ebs volumes one points you can select and uh, size also you can you know customize it and there is this volume types so uh, you, you remember these i believe you have the ssd options two ssd options and three uh, magnetic options these are all uh, uh, you know uh, these are all the available options you can go on and do it and but here uh, you get to define the encryption you can uh, encrypt it from the beginning itself but it's only for the you know root volume that uh, encryption is not uh, enabled by default so i'm going to you know uh, stick with the basic root volume uh, which is of size 8 gb i'm going to go on uh, to the next page and here i've got uh, something called a stacks a tag consists of k sensitive key value pair so it can be anything uh, what what is the name of this uh, instance i'm going to say uh, ec2 linux and i can add one more uh, i can say environment let's say this is dev and uh, let's add one more tag which says uh, os type and i'm going to say linux so these are the tags and this is used for uh, identification you can you know uh, group uh, uh, you know uh, resources based on the tags so we'll we'll talk about that later and uh, for now i'm going to click on next and this is the security group so what is a security group security group is a you know set of firewall rules which can uh, you know control your traffic for uh, that particular instance your ec2 instance so you can create security groups so security groups will contain this uh, rules firewall rules what are the ports you can uh, uh, you know use what are the enabled ports and so on so for now uh, since this is a uh, uh, 
Linux uh, uh, server which we are going to launch I'm gonna stick with SSH so this is already selected I'm gonna create a new security group and I'm gonna call it as uh, uh, Linux EC2 I'm gonna change the description just to understand and I'm gonna you know keep it same so SSH, SSH uh, it, it has this uh, TCP protocol and the port is uh, 22 and you can define the source as well so I'm gonna you know say my IP and it's gonna you know uh, show my IP I, I can lock it down if I want to you know open it up to the whole world I can say anywhere I'm gonna stick with that for now if you want to add any other rules yeah you can do it you have the freedom to you know select uh, all these and uh, I'm gonna you know go ahead for now I'm gonna leave this I'm gonna click on review and launch so here uh, th this is the you know review or summary page so you have all the you know options uh, displayed here the summary page I'm gonna click on uh, uh, launch and uh, there will be a pop-up which will be asking me to you know uh, provide uh, this uh, key pair I'm gonna stick with uh, create a new key pair and this key pair will be using it to log into this particular instance I'm gonna call it as a uh, the next CC2 public key so this will uh, give me you know uh, key pair I'm gonna download it I'll uh, save it uh, on my desktop and it is downloaded I'm gonna click on launch instance So let's go back and uh, see the instance it might take you know a couple of uh, seconds to load let's wait until uh, this is done so this is how you will be you know uh, launching uh, a Linux uh, EC2 instance yeah, and uh, remember uh, it's completely based on the AMI Amazon machine image so on the instance dashboard uh, you have something called as name uh, instance ID instance type uh, availability zone which it is uh, uh, you know uh, added and instance state uh, status checks it's it's running you know automatic health checks uh, alarm status uh, public DNS uh, things like that so if you want to add any other uh, parameter you can you can uh, go go and uh, you know do it uh, by clicking on this uh, settings button and yeah as you can see it is running and this is the you know public DNS name and uh, here I've got uh, the public IP so this is the public IP which we'll be using and um, in order to you know connect to that particular thing so let, let's you know uh, leave this uh, uh, Linux portion now uh, let's go ahead and you know uh, launch one more EC2 instance a uh, Windows one this time so I'm gonna click on launch instance I'll, I'll uh, do the same drill I'll have to select the pre tire and I'll have to look for uh, Windows so we have got you know different versions of Windows Server 2016 2012 and so on so I'm gonna stick with uh, 2012 for now I'll say select I'm gonna I'll have to select the instance type I'm gonna take uh, stick with uh, T2 micro I'll say next and here I've got the configuration options for that instance I'm gonna launch just one single instance I'm gonna stick with a um, default uh, VPC uh, I'll not uh, select the subnet and uh, public IP I'm gonna leave it as is uh, the auto option I'm gonna say stop and the tenancy I'm gonna say shared I'm gonna click on add storage and uh, I'm gonna stick with uh, the default one so here you can see that a free tire eligible customers can get up to 30 GB of EBS uh, SSD or magnetic storage might want to you know remember that as well and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on uh, next and uh, I'll have to add the tags I'm gonna say Windows Windows EC2 I'll add another tag and I'm gonna call this as uh, environment I'm gonna say prod and that's it guys I'll click on next I'll review this uh, and I'll I'll be you know creating a new uh, security group so you have the option to you know choose between uh, create or uh, select the existing group all the if you click on you know select existing uh, security group you will see all these the existing or available security groups I'm gonna create a new one so I'll say uh, security 
windows and uh, i'll change the description i'm gonna put it as this so rdp this is the remote desktop protocol and uh, the port range is uh, 3389 amazon does uh, give you this uh, option you don't need to you know uh, type it in the default port number but you can lock it down to the source so i'm gonna stick with um, anywhere zero zero uh, that's the cider block the ip address and uh, i'm gonna define uh, certain other things like uh, https as well so the is the moment you select https uh, the port number gets automatically populated so that, that's how it is and i'm gonna say anywhere i'll click on uh, review and launch and uh, here you can uh, uh, you know do the review you get to see the summary i'm gonna click on uh, launch and uh, i'll have to you know uh, create a new key pair for this i'll say windows ec2 i'll download the key pair i'll save it and i'll launch the instance Let me go back to the instance uh, dashboard so i've got uh, this here let me click on uh, ec2 instance dashboard i'm gonna go here so i can see uh, um, you know the windows one is uh, provisioning it's still uh, work in progress it's still initializing but uh, the linux instance which we have uh, you know created it's running and it's placed in south a1 uh, 1a availability zone health checks are looking good let's wait uh, you know a couple of minutes or uh, seconds because you know since this is windows it might take uh, a while um, not more than you know uh, two or three uh, minutes that being said it's already you know provisioned it's it's uh, up and running now let's quickly see the you know uh, details me uncheck this uh, ec2 instance so i've got uh, all the you know uh, details here about uh, the windows uh, machine this is the public ip this is the public dns uh, availability zone it's into uh, the security group it's using and so on so let me you know uh, quickly uh, close this session i'm gonna uh, create one more video on how to connect to this uh, created ec2 instance we'll be uh, having two different uh, uh, sessions one for uh, connecting to ec2 linux instance and another one for uh, connecting to windows instance but uh, to be frank with you guys this is how you will be you know uh, creating uh, or launching your own ec2 instance we have seen how to create a windows instance and the linux instance thanks a lot for watching the video i'll see you in the next one